Time to head over to the Beko kitchen and see what Spanish goodness chefs got in the kitchen for us this morning. I'm pretty excited. One of my favourite dishes. Well, jambalaya, so beautiful, packed full of beautiful ingredients, mm. um, spices, vegetables. So it's actually strictly not a Spanish dish. So it's uh, from Louisiana originally, but yes, it takes true. a lot of uh, inspiration from the Spanish cuisine. So that's why we've done it, mixing it up a little bit. You know, we've got the chorizo in there, the paprika and with all the spices. Mm. So it's going to be great. And it's a little bit like... Um, uh, a paella, what we made early on in the week. It is, and I'll, I'll tell you how they get, got from paella to jambalaya very soon, actually, and we'll also get all the tricks to how to make this, so make sure you get a pen and paper ready. If not, you just go back online and have a look. And from heat of one sort to another, Mark, because we are in the Beko kitchen, and today we are making jambalaya, sweet fish pie, me or my or. Uh, bit spicy? You're going to make it a bit spicy? Uh, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not too much, you know. It's all about, it's all about well, warming flavours, you know. Nice. We're, we're not going make, to make it too spicy. We've got Good. some um, Cajun spice there, so we'll get a little bit of heat off that. We've got the chorizo as well. Yes, and, and traditional, that is usually what is in a jambalaya, isn't it? Yeah. A traditional yeah. jambalaya, a bit of smoked sausage. Uh, and it originated in the French quarters of New Orleans, where mm -hmm. I've been and eaten jambalaya which is fantastic. Uh, the, um, it was like a paella, but they couldn't afford saffron, so they just started so making their own version. It. Yeah. Oh. Okay, and there's many variations of it, so let's get to Mark's variation. Right, so chicken first. I've got a pan on, so that's warming up. Yep. So we're going to, you can chop the chicken okay, up. Okay, cool. And Sweet. then we're just going to brown the chicken pieces off. So okay, we're going nice. to leave it quite chunky, you know, we want it quite rustic. Yeah. And then I'm going to start chopping some other bits and bobs off. So okay. I've got some um, uh, chorizo here. So just nice slices, just on the angle. And we're going to be popping those in a little bit later. Brilliant. Okay, cool. And then we've got uh, we've got some short grain rice here, and that, so we're going to we're going to cook it with it. Uh, so we've got chicken stock and tomatoes in there. You know, some people put tomatoes in there, and that was yes. a red one, wasn't it? It's a red jumble if you put tomatoes in it. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, you pretty much. I mean, the beauty with these things is, you know, there's 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 always that base recipe in these. Um, uh, cultures, yes, uh, and you can follow that and try that, and then you can just adapt it to whatever you want, really. Okay. Yeah, which is great, isn't it? And this yeah. is real comforting over winter. This type of food. Yeah, this is this is a great one, you know. And if you if you like the paella, I mean, oh, this, yeah. this is the next one to try, you know. Are these too big, or is that you know about right, or do you want them half again? <laughs> <laughs> one purpose. <laughs> <laughs> do them half again. Uh, yeah, half okay. again. Yeah, that'd be great. And then yeah. you can uh, you can pop that in. Okay, sweet. Nice. You know, this, uh, I, when I was in New Orleans, it was something that I really had to eat because it was the food of the area. And uh, it was just fantastic. There's nothing like that authentic food from the place it originated from. Oh, definitely, definitely. And the food, yeah, the food in New Orleans is supposed to be amazing. Not actually been, but um, I'd love to go. It's definitely on the uh, culinary map. Oh, and uh, you know, look, the place hasn't changed. I was there like a week before Katrina hit. So it was quite fascinating coming home and watching it on the telly all unfold. But, you know, they do those parades and they throw the beads down at you and everybody just wants to go and get involved. Yeah, cool. But of course, you don't have to go to New Orleans to experience jambalaya today. You can do it at the comfort of your own home with Mark and I in the Beko Kitchen. There you go. Go to the cafe website. <laughs> oh, a, lot, nice. a lot cheaper. A lot cheaper, that's right. Okay, so high heat. We're going to get some... Um, just going to start getting some colour on that. A little bit of salt and pepper as we're... Um, as we're cooking it, to start mm -hmm. getting that flavour in there. Okay, cool. Um, you know, then we've got chorizo, what we're going to put in, so we'll get a nice flavour from that. That's all sort of the Spanish sort of influence as well with the with the spices and the Cajun um, spice mix. Prawns as well, you know, that whole sort of surf and turf. Um, so it's just all about getting as much flavour as you can. Nice. Into, uh, into the jambalaya. So I'm going to put the chorizo in now. And that's all going to cook together, you know. Once you cook chorizo, it sort of releases that oil a little bit, and that's right. all flavour, so that's what you want. <laughs> Yum. And this is good, as you said earlier, you know, you can put whatever type of meat you want. There's no sort of hard and fast rules. We've got a little bit of seafood in there as well. I mean, you could even do a, a vegetarian version here. Yeah? You know, or, you ju or just a fish, uh, just lots of vegetables. Capsicum and stuff. Yeah, you've yeah. got the capsicums and onions and garlic. Um, you know, pumpkins, that's a really good time of year. Uh, winter now for pumpkins, you know, that'll, that'll give you some nice big texture in there. Brilliant. And chunkiness. Um, uh, finish it off with lots of leafy greens, you know, that'd be really nice actually. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Oh, should have done, done a vegetarian one. There you go. <laughs> His little mind's ticking over. Well, not your little mind, your mind <laughs> is ticking over, sorry. <laughs> Just getting very comfortable here. It's smelling good. Got the other vegetables yeah. ready. 
So we're gonna oh, we're gonna oil add it in stages. So I'm just looking for a little bit more colour, a little cool. bit of that oil to release from the chorizo, and then we'll start adding some more vegetables. Right, what you were saying is that I was a little bit slow in chopping that chicken up, but we'll continue to get the rest of this recipe soon. He gave me a bit more time to get my chicken ready for our jambalaya in the Beko kitchen this morning as we celebrate Spanish cuisine, and I'll tell you how you can win a tapas meal for two shortly, thanks to our friends at Sayup as we welcome the new Sayup Arona to New Zealand. Okay. So things are looking good here. Is your chicken in a good colour? You like? Yeah, yeah. Good. So, we've got, so we've got a nice colour on the chicken. I'm just going to pop the peppers in now. Nice. Stir them around. And we've got the onions as well. You know, so just keep it keep it really sort of rustic, you know. You don't need to be too finely chopped. You know, we want texture in there because there's going to be a lot of rice in there as well. Brilliant. So onions go in, a little bit of garlic as well. Yep. So keep it on that nice medium heat. Keep stirring it. You'll uh, release all the flavours from the garlic. Right, and then uh, and then a little bit of the uh, Cajun spice mix. Nice. You know? And it's always a good idea to put these spices in, you know, as you're sort of cooking over that medium heat as well, and you'll release all those flavours. So let's do that for a minute or so, and then we can add our rice. Well, it's smelling great now, isn't it? You know, it's, it's all those flavours oh. coming out, and, mm. and the, but it's all that all that smell and flavour is going to go into the rice. Looking great too, actually. And any particular rice? Yeah, so this is a, this is a short grain rice. Short grain rice. Okay, great. Right, so that goes in there, so give that a good stir around. Fantastic. And that's the great thing I've learned doing Spanish week, is that, you know, so many people have food in the cupboards, but what do you do with it? And the Spanish were obviously very clever at just... Chucking all and everything pan. together, yeah. <laughs> just like, let's just fry it up and add some spice. That is beautiful. But that's it, that's, you know, that's... How, that's the, how this was invented, how yeah. the paella, paella was invented. Right, so we're going to go with um, tomatoes in there. Okay, so it's so a rear jambalaya now. Yeah, so just canned tomatoes. You know, it's, you, you can get all the crushed ones if you want, but it's quite nice to have them whole, you know, and then as you're cooking it, you know, you can break just them up. break them yeah. down a little bit and then you get these nice little um, pockets of tomato. Brilliant. You know, or in summer you could use fresh tomatoes. That'd be really good as well. That'd be really nice to just slow down and cook into it. And the moisture's going to help with the rice, and I guess we're going to add some stock. Yeah, we're going to add some stock now. So I've got some nice chicken stock here. That goes in. Right. We'll bring that up to the boil. And then we're going to turn it down. We're going to put a lid on there, so it's just like as we're cooking rice and just slow cook it. So it's just going to absorb. It's going to slowly cook the rice. It's going to absorb all those liquids. And then it's going to put some prawns in there now, just over <laughs> the top. And just let all that cook together. Lid on. And what are we talking, 20, 30 minutes? Yeah, yeah. Okay, quite, cool. Quite, uh, quite, really quite fast, actually. Okay. So turn it down and, uh, yeah. Brilliant. Bob You're right. Uncle. Nice and fast. And it should be ready by the time the show finishes. And I'm really looking forward to that because I can't wait to eat it. And you can enjoy the Spanish cuisine at home. But if you're after a night out where someone else does the cooking for you, here's your chance to win tapas for two with wine at Madrid Spanish Restaurant and Tapas Bar in Auckland. Thanks to the new Say It Arona. Just head along to our Facebook page to enter. Yeah. I tell you what, this is smelling incredible. How's your jambalaya yeah, gum? It is ready. It's beautiful. It's packed full of flavour. And I'm just going to serve it up now. Or you can serve it straight in the pan, middle of the table, you know, and let everyone help themselves. But this is just a beautiful winter's dish. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That packed full of flavour. Here you go. Nice work. And I did try Ooh. it just before. It's got the right amount of smoky flavour and spiciness in it. It's beautiful, Mark. Get some spoons Very up good. for Pedro. Oh, <laughs> nice. Get in there, Mel. Okay, what are you doing tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got Spanish clams with chorizo. Yeah.